In reality, there are many situations when property plan and equipment is acquired in exchange for other non-monetary asset. Sometimes, exchange involves combination of non-monetary asset and cash, just like in the following scheme. Company A sells machine to company B in exchange for lorry. But company A shall pay additional 10,000 euro to company B. In this case, cost of acquired item shall be measured at its fair value, but only if the transaction does have a commercial substance and fair value is reliably measurable. So in this example, we assume that fair value of truck is 10,000 euro higher than fair value of machine. If this is not the case, then the transaction would probably lack the commercial substance and the cost of an asset acquired would be measured at carrying amount of asset given up. Then, the company A would recognize the truck at the cost equal to its fair value, which would be the same as fair value of machine plus 10,000 euro. The company B would recognize the machine also at the cost equal to its fair value, which would be the same as fair value of truck less 10,000 euro. Any gains or losses from such transactions shall be recognized at profit or loss. However, when exchange relates to assets similar in nature, then IES 18 prohibits recognition of gains or losses from such swaps. Now let's take a look to our example. Recently, Skybeings reviewed all of its property plan and equipment and decided to sell 30 highlights. One of Skybeings' competitors, Aviax, offered 20 luggage belts plus 20,000 euro for 30 high lifts. The transaction has commercial substance. How would these newly acquired assets appear in the financial statements of Skybeings and Aviax? So, in this example, we shall deal with an exchange of dissimilar assets. It's always good to draw a simple scheme on how the transaction will flow. So, Skybeings passes 30 high lifts to Aviax, and Aviax passes 20 luggage belts plus 20,000 euro to Skybeings. Now we can see that fair value of 30 high lifts less 20,000 euro is the same as fair value of 20 luggage belts, so we can really assume that this transaction is performed under market conditions. Skybeings would recognize 20 luggage belts at their fair value, that is at 91,000 euro. Thus, cost of one luggage belt would be 91,000 divided by 20, and that is 4,550 euro. As Skybeings received also cash payment, that is recognized as well. Then, Skybeings has to de-recognize carrying amount of 30 high lifts at sale. As stated above, carrying amount of one high lift is 4,000 euro, so carrying amount of 30 high lifts would be 120,000 euro. Difference between assets recognized in amount of 111,000 euro, which is 91,000 as luggage belts and 20,000 as cash, and assets derecognized in amount of 120,000 euro represents loss from the sale that goes directly to profit or loss statement. Music